Today, we're gonna make a really cool logo animation that looks like this. And like this. And even like this. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today, we're getting back into the tutorials, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to make an awesome logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects utilizing the Saber plugin. So if you don't know what the Saber plugin is, it is a plugin created by Video Copilot, the leading company in After Effects tutorials and plugins and all sorts of stuff like that. But Saber is an awesome plugin that was originally created to make lightsabers, like bam, you want the lightsaber in your film, but, um, they've recently adapted it to where you can do a lot more than that. The plugin's been out a while, but once the gaming community figured out about the plugin, you guys lost your goddamn minds. Now everyone wants a logo that is using this effect. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do that inside of After Effects and how you can do multiple colors inside of one logo inside of After Effects. So let's go ahead and jump right into After Effects. I'm assuming you've already installed the plugin. If you haven't, there's plenty of tutorials on how to install plugins into After Effects. It's super easy, you download, the Saber plugin for free. By the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this, the Saber plugin is free at videocopilot.net. Put the link in the description, but you download the plugin and just copy it into the plugins folder in the uh, files of After Effects. And then when you open up After Effects, it's there, but um, you can look up tutorials. It's really easy to install, but I've already got it installed here and I'm gonna be starting the tutorial as if you have it installed as well. So here we have a composition. You can see where I've got the logo animation created and this is what we're gonna be creating today. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new composition go up to composition, hit new composition. All these settings are good as long as you're uh, rocking full HD, 1920 by 1080, go ahead and hit okay. And now you need to bring in your logo. Now my logo at this point is just text. So if I type out Bravity, so we've got Bravity M chilling here in text form. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-compose that. So we're gonna make sure it's selected down here. We're gonna right click and go to pre-compose and we're gonna make sure we select move all attributes into the new composition and hit okay. And there we go. So now you've just got a composition with just your logo in it. I've just got Bravity M inside of this composition. And you're gonna make sure that's selected and you're gonna go up and hit layer and then go to auto trace. So what this is going to do is it's going to draw masks around your logo or whatever you put into it. And you wanna make sure you select apply new layer here. So make sure that box is selected and make sure all your settings match mine. These are some pretty good settings right here to get a nice effect. So just match these settings. They might even be the default ones, I'm not sure. And hit okay. Now this might take a little bit if you have a lower end PC, not a super powerful PC. It might even say that After Effects is not responding and it might look like it's gonna crash, but just let it do its thing and it'll come to usually and it will give you something that looks like this. It has pretty much just created all these little points around the text layer and cut it out for you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hide the original Gravity M layer like I did. So just come over here and just hide it. And you just want this auto trace layer active and you're gonna go over to your effects now and just type in Saber. There we go, we've got the Saber plugin, ladies and gentlemen, and we're just gonna draw, drag it, not drag it, drag it onto the auto trace layer just like that. And you're gonna see it's gonna disappear, but it's gonna create a lightsaber. So the next thing you wanna do is really important, and here's where you see what, what, what we came here for. You're gonna go to Customize Core. If you do not see these settings, it is in your effects controls. Usually this is your project window where all of your stuff is, and you wanna select Effects Controls. Make sure you're highlighted down here on your layer you're working on, and you're gonna go into the effects here, go to Customize Core. You're gonna flip that down, and then where it says Saber, you're gonna drop down, and you're gonna hit Layer Mask. Now, Layer Masks is the thing that it drew out. It's all these mask points right here. So when you hit Layer Masks, you can see it now follows the layer mask, but oh my God, that is super bright. And you can go around and mess with the glow intensity to get what you want at this point. But what I recommend doing is hitting this drop down where it says select and just choose whatever you want. So let's go haze. And it looks like that. Or even, uh, where's fire? Fire. And it looks like it's flaming. And that's a little intense. You might want to turn down the glow if you do the fire. Um, but yeah, look at that, it's Bravity M on fire. It's really cool. So you see you've got all kinds of settings here and that's all I did for that intro when I said, you're gonna make one that looks like this or like this or like this. I'm literally just going down this drop down and just selecting different ones. And no matter which one you se like select, let's say you want fire or you like the look of the fire, but your channel colors are blue. Let's turn down the intensity here. But your channel colors are blue. You can come up here to where it's orange and just change it to bluish or purplish or whatever. And now you've got your channel color with 
whatever customized option you want. And it's already animated for you as well. So if we hit play here, it's gonna take a little bit to render out all the frames. But once you hit play, you're gonna see that it's actually gonna like move around and look kind of like fire and whatnot or whatever you select it. It's gonna look like energy or whatever. But now let's get into the animation part, guys. And this is super easy inside of the Saber plugin, like unbelievably easy. So what you're gonna do, is inside of this customized core, you're gonna see you've got settings called start offset and end offset. One of them's at 0%, one of them's at 100%. And watch what happens when I move this start upset offset to 100%. It draws it on. And watch what happens when I take the end offset down to 0%. It draws it on in the other direction. So what you guys can do is take your playhead to the beginning of your comp, go ahead and hit the stopwatch next to start offset. This is gonna create a keyframe at the beginning and start your keyframes. So we want it at zero, or actually no, we want it at 100 for start. So do it to 100 so it's gone. Then hit the start stopwatch. Then you wanna go forward maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 frames. There we go, 15 frames and take it all the way down to zero and draw it on just like that. So now when you hit play, you're gonna see that you've got your logo drawing on so there we go gravity m that looks fantastic ladies and gentlemen you can slow it down a little bit to make it more dramatic but now you've got this animation so if you don't like what this looks like literally just go up to torch and change it to hot and then hit play it's going to take a little bit to uh process it because you change that but there you go you got a new version that's still a little bit too bright and you've got all kinds of things you can mess around with by the way so you've got the core um You've got the core size, you've got the glow bias, you've got the glow spread, you've got the glow intensity, you got all kinds of stuff. You got glow settings down here. There's so much things to play with. You've got core softness, uh, halo size, halo intensity. We can turn the halo intensity down here to make it look a little bit more readable and whatnot, but you can mess around with it so much. All right, guys, so now that we got the basics of this plugin out of the way, I'm gonna show you a bit more of an advanced version, how you can take your logo and cut it apart and do different colors and whatnot. So for this, I've created a new composition here, and we're gonna use the pep logo just because it's the first thing that popped into my mind when I thought of two um, a logo with two very specific different colors so what you got here is the Pepsi logo and you just got it on a single layer down here so the first thing you need to do is you need to cut it apart so we're gonna select it here and we're gonna go up to our mask tool right here it's this little pen tool and you're just gonna draw around whatever parts you want to cut out so I'm gonna draw around this blue one just go through here nice and carefully boop and just like that, I've cut it out. So now we've only got this blue one, just like that. And now we just wanna duplicate the Pepsi layer by just hitting Control D. You're gonna duplicate it, and you're gonna take this other one and go to the drop down, go to the mask you just created, and you're gonna set it to subtract instead. So now if you hit subtract, then it's going to be subtracting that blue on that one instead of only isolating that blue. So now this top layer, you've got just the red one, and on this bottom one, you've got just the blue one. So you've just cut it apart. And this whole subtract thing, you don't have to do that. You could have literally just brought in your Pepsi logo again, and then just gone up to the pen tool and just cut out the red one on this one. But that subtract method is just a way to save you a little bit of time. But if you wanna go a bit more of a basic route, you can just cut out the red one as well. So now you got red one up top here, you got blue one on the bottom here, and now you just need to pre-compose both of those. So we're gonna hit pre-compose, we're gonna move all attributes to no, new composition. Remember to select that, hit okay. Same one up here, pre-compose, and then move all attributes. Beautiful, beautiful, just like that. And now we need to do the auto trace again for both of them. So select the top one, go up to layer, auto trace, hit okay. There we go. Bottom one, layer, auto trace, boom. And there we go. So now we can hide the old two. So now we just got these two white shape layers here that have been auto traced out that have masks around them, just like that. Then we're gonna go to Saber here and we're gonna drop Saber onto one of them and then Saber onto the other one. Now, <clears throat> when you place Saber onto a layer, it creates a black background. It is no longer transparent underneath. So you can see if I even turn these Pepsi logos on, you can't see them. And the reason why is just because it's a black layer. This is no longer transparent. So you wanna go here to mode and you wanna make sure you change this to screen. And once you change it to screen, you'll see through it again. So then we can change this one to screen as well. And then we will see our Pepsi logos when we turn them on. So there you go. So now you can see we can overlay it over our Pepsi logos if we turn them on. So make sure you set these modes to screen if you want it to still be transparent. And when you're doing these dual logos, you need to set it to screen because you need to see multiple sabers. So now go into each one individually, go up to the effects controls, hit customize core and go to layer mask. There's the bottom one, then hit this one, 
customize core go to layer mask and look at that guys we've got the pepsi logo glowing it looks awesome i even like just the regular um, saber how this looks so we're going to take the top one here and we're just going to make it the a red for pepsi just like that hell yeah look at that that looks like a pepsi neon sign that you'd see in like a restaurant or in a bar this is this plugin is freaking awesome but now we just need to add the animation guys so here at the start we're gonna make sure our start offset is at 100 hit the keyframe so that it's gone and then move forward a couple frames like 30 frames or so and then drop it to zero to animate it in and now we need to do this for the other one so if we drop down these drop downs here i'm saying drop down a lot and go to the effects you can see where you created your keyframes so like here's our saber keyframes here to make sure that both of yours line up. So we're gonna hit start offset here and it wants to be a zero and then go back to the beginning and change it to a hundred so it's gone. So we've animated both of these to come in separately and now this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and hit play. It's gonna render through it a little bit. Just look at that animation, that looks fantastic. So if your logo is like the Pepsi logo or just has multiple colors, that is literally all it takes right there. Um, my biggest tip is just make sure it's set to screen. You're gonna get in there, I promise you're gonna get in there and it's gonna not be working and you're gonna wonder why and this is gonna be your biggest problem here. Just make sure all of your Saber, all of your Saber layers are set to screen. Just do it and you, it, it'll just work. But look at that guys, that looks so fantastic. And now, like I said, we can just mess around with it. So let's bring them in like that and let's just mess around with it. Let's go to um, Kryptonite, hell yeah. And then we'll go to Kryptonite on this one as well. Uh, Kryptonite, and there we go. And now we just need to change our color. So back to a nice Pepsi red here and then back to a nice Pepsi blue here. I forget what Pepsi blue is. There we go. Nice little Pepsi blue there. And now we've got this crazy flame energy looking Pepsi logo. It's gonna take a little bit longer to render because there's more going on. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that logo animation for Pepsi. Just take that right now, Pepsi, and throw it in whatever you want it to. That looks so good with just the energy, but your logos could look like this, guys, this easy. You could animate them in to draw in with flames and whatnot, and it all happens inside of After Effects using the free Saber plugin. But that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you make some awesome logo animations using this Saber plugin. It is really incredible what you can do with it, and it's it just blows my mind every time I come in and create something like this that's super easy to create. Like, look at that Pepsi logo. I just I can't stop watching it. I just got it on loop at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any problems or any questions, Make sure you either hit me up on Twitter or down in the comments below. I try to answer everybody's questions and I try to help you guys through your After Effects problems. Some of you guys have reached out to me with problems and I try my best as I can to help you out over just typing. It's really hard to answer problems just by typing, but I try my best guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and I'll be trying to do as many tutorials like this as possible. But hope you enjoyed the video. I've said that way too many times and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.